All right, guys, it's Tuesday and it's time for another tier list Tuesday. All right, let's get started. So today we are going to be doing a money making tier list. Now, before we get into it, I kind of want to go over a few things before we start this. So first off, you can see our tier list and we just have one money sign all the way up to five because everything in this list can make you money. And we're going to go from there. Now we're going to have a few things in here. They're going to come with a little bit of preface and we're going to have to talk a little bit extra about them, but it's going to be a fun list. Let me know in the comment section down below where you think I went right, where you think I went wrong. I do love reading all of your guys' comments. And remember to subscribe. Come on here. If you're watching the video, you might as well subscribe. So you can see all these dumb videos that I put out. A lot of them are educational. We do tests and stuff like that. But we also do a tier list pretty much every Tuesday. And today it is one of my favorite things and it is money making. Now we have every gathering skill here. We have every crafting skill. We do not have refining. We did not put that on here. I basically put those in with gathering. Um, we have, uh, this is luck runs. This is instant stuff. This is of course flipping stuff on the trading post. And this is going to be like farming out your corrupting totems and stuff like that. Now, everything on here can make you money and you can find ways on every single one of these to make money. And let's get into it and we'll kind of talk, talk about it as we go. Okay, first we have fishing. Fishing is a pretty, Consistent money maker, but it doesn't make a ton of money. We're gonna put it down here in the two category because it definitely has a you know a floor. You can definitely make money on it. You're not gonna lose any money fishing for the most part. Um, but it doesn't necessarily make you a lot of coins. It definitely does depend on the server for every single one of these things. So if the prices are different on your server, I'm sorry, I can only go off of what is what it is on my server, but when we go over things like uh, money making, we're gonna not look at necessarily just the top end, but we're gonna look at kind of time investment or money investment, depending on what we're looking at here. So fishing, it's a slow burn. You can make some decent money on it, but you're not gonna really knock it out of the park too much. Next we have harvesting, and we're gonna put it right up here in the three money sign list. It's good, it's definitely better than fishing. It's very steady. Um, it is pretty highly contested on pretty much every server that I've been on, but when you can actually get to it, you can make silk. We, you can make silk and it goes pretty well. It's not bad. It's going to be pretty consistent as you can find things and you can pretty much find things at least everywhere. You can even gather up some like arcana herbs and stuff like that. So honestly, it's pretty good. I've done a decent amount of it, um, but not a metric ton. Next we have what is quickly becoming one of my favorite things and that is tracking and skinning. And we're actually gonna put it up here in the four money sign list. Uh, so in this tier, skinning is, in my opinion, just better than harvesting. I think it definitely does put itself above. And the reason why is the iron hide itself isn't as good, but you do typically get more uh, smolder hide, scar hide. And especially if you go out and, you know, maybe you gather up everything you need infused leather um, you can get a little bit easier because it's a little bit more consistent you don't have to move as far you can stay in basically one little area and kill things over and over again but also while you're skinning things you get things that are pretty valuable you can get things like the bear trophy you can get rich bear flank you can get eggs you can get a lot of extra material that are used for things like cooking that are actually pretty valuable even more it's the most valuable thing you can get off them so it's really good I really enjoy skinning and we're definitely put it in the for money sign tier list. Next we have loot luck runs. So we're gonna put loot luck runs. We'll put it up here with tracking and skinning. I was debating about putting it a little bit lower, but here's the thing. The floor on the loot um, runs are pretty low because you can get things like obsidian, you get some of the weapon, you know, you get like the iron guardsman insignias and stuff like that when you do loot luck runs. This goes for like elite chess runs as well. So the floor for it's pretty low or pretty high for something you're not gonna most of the time knock it out of the park unless you get something, you know, one of the legendary mats. If you get something like the the armor's journals, stuff like that. That when you start getting to those, you can actually put it up even higher in a tier list, but you don't consistently get some of the big the higher dollar ones. And without getting one of those, your gold per hour is pretty low. But because you can get that little bit of a jackpot, we moved it up. A little bit here on the list. 
Next, we have mutators. At least you see that. This is just going to be your instance. So this is going to be everything like your dungeons and stuff like that. Now, we're going to focus mainly on dungeons. I could have put a thing down here for like wars and arenas and stuff like that. But honestly, they don't make you a ton of coins. It's a little bit of short burst, but it's not something super sustainable. Now, we could have put OPR by itself on the list, but we kind of lumped it into here, even though OPR is definitely, if you're looking for just coins, it is not worth your time to do it. But when it comes to instance, we're going to put it up here in the list. You can do things like running Gen or running Laz in 20 minutes. If you can, even if you're running it at 30 minutes, you get a thousand coins per hour just for completing it. You're going to get some gear that you can possibly sell, especially if you're doing like M10 Gen. M10 Gen is the most rewarding content in the game currently. If you guys haven't done an M10, I'm not talking just for money, but I'm also talking for personal drops plus the shards. It is absolutely the best thing you can be running in the game, in my opinion. I'd even if you you can try to argue maybe Tempest because some of the new gear is absolutely pretty cool. But honestly, I would just run regular. If you're running M10, just trust me. If you haven't speed run through M10 Gen four or five times a day, you're like, wow, I've been missing out. You make a lot of money just by getting the gold. You get the time of shards to give you the money, and you get a lot of drops that you can sell. I've sold things upwards of 60, 70,000 out of there. I've sold a couple pieces of gear for people that are upwards of like 100,000. So like, trust me, M10 Gen is where it's at. But even if you're not running those, just running the dungeons, it's going to give you some refining materials. It's going to give you a um, thousand gold essentially every time you go into it. And it's going to give you potentially some gear to sell. So we're putting it up here because it's baseline floor is really high, but you can also knock it out of the park and get something pretty crazy to sell. We're going to just move this to the back because we're going to talk about this one last. Next is farming up corrupted totems or any of the legendary material. And we're going to put it, man, this one's actually really hard. It's going to look like we're stacking everything in one tier if we put it up here. But we are going to put it up here. Now, this one can be down here. You can make absolutely no money on it or it can be up here because you just made 70000 in an hour which is pretty crazy. That's the reason why we're putting it here in the second to highest tier list because honestly, the time invested, it can be pretty bad. Like we know people, I know people that have been there for, oh my, weeks. It took them to actually get one of these. But once you get one, no matter what, it is a big chunk. Now, we didn't put Bear Claw in here, which I've gotten a couple from skinning. They're very cheap. But other than that, all the rest of them are pretty high. You can do things like Mordecai or down in the pit very easily and very quickly. And it doesn't take a whole lot of effort. You can just sit there and AFK. And once you get this totem, it is a massive, massive, massive burst of money. And it's one of the best things to do if you're just like AFK or if you're kind of new to the server and wanna, you know, roll the dice and get it. But trust me, if you wanna do this, you do have to commit to getting them. You're gonna to have to commit a lot of hours to getting one, but then you're gonna get something pretty crazy once you get it and you can sell it for pretty, pretty good money. Next, we have weaponsmithing. We're going to put weaponsmithing right here. Now, we're going to start talking about the crafting skills. Uh, all the crafting skills are up next. And when it comes to crafting, we're going to start with a baseline of just doing crafting services for people that give you tips and get to, you know, aptitude bumps. And then we're going to talk a little bit about what you can make with them. Now, when we talk about all the crafting skills other than the last two, which is Arcana and cooking, a lot of these are prefaced that in order to make money, most of the time you have to have a ton of money invested in it. Rarely are you going to just craft something and sell it right off the bat. Um, but there are people making money, weapon smithing and armor craft or an armoring and stuff like that. The problem is, you know, you might spend four, 500,000 to, you know, craft three pieces of gear that can sell one of which sells for, you know, 400,000 or something like that. So, it's up and down. Uh, I honestly, if you're trying to make money, I don't suggest trying to craft things for yourself to sell unless you have a massive amount of money. But if you have a massive amount of money, do you really need to do it? And even then, you're not guaranteed to you know, craft anything that's absolutely crazy. So it is a money pit. If you're looking to specifically make money, I would stay away from them other than maybe doing crafting services. Next, we have armoring. Armoring is definitely better than weaponsmithing. We're going to put it up here in the mid-tier list. 
obviously you can spend a very little amount of gold and get something worth over gold cap uh it's kind of like the corrupted totem right where you can spend you know little time invested to get it but they are few and far between some of the people there's some people on my server that have crafted multiple bis items a week but or you know multiple items that craft for or sell for a hundred thousand to gold cap right but the problem is those are few and far between and you do have to have a lot of currency stocked up to really take advantage of this so we're going to put it right here because the aptitude boxes are really good out of the armoring uh the crafting services you know people are always looking to craft armor and armoring is one of the easier ones to craft a decent piece of gear so we're going to put it in the three next we have engineering and this is easily going to go right here uh arrows typically aren't worth anything there are times that arrows can be you know made for profit blunderbuss and bow they're not typically worth crafting yes there are a few cases where especially with the blunderbuss you can craft some pretty good weapons but honestly out of all the crafting engineering is probably the worst uh, the only reason why weaponsmithing is not down here is because on my server people are buying up refreshing move thwarting strike great axes like they are hotcakes um so uh that can be kind of profitable uh honestly weaponsmithing probably deserves to be down here in the s tier with engineering but it currently isn't it's a little bit better jewelry crafting we're going to put up with the armoring it's essentially the same thing it is a little bit easier to roll uh jewelry at least easier to get a better piece of gear you can even craft things like ring to kind of take out of the pool some of the bad shit that can roll on them um honestly it's pretty expensive to do jewelry crafting um but it is probably one of the easier ones to get decent rolls on so now that we've kind of talked about you know the base crafting ones and arcana kind of gets in there a little bit if you do like fire staff void gauntlet that kind of thing let's talk about arcana um arcana is a weird one like it it has the fire staff the ice gauntlet the void gauntlet the life staff you can craft those with arcana and if i was just judging on it it would probably be down here in this tier because it's kind of like weaponsmithing you can make some decent stuff but honestly there's not that many people out there crafting, you know, their mage weapons. But the fact that Arcana can craft your potions, it can craft your, um, where the real money lies in coatings. Uh, Arcana, we're definitely going to move up here to the three money category. Now, it definitely depends on the prices because when you're making money, you can't just say hey look i can farm up this and then craft this sometimes it's better to sell the item versus craft it so you do have to take that into account but arcana you can almost always find a way to make some money in arcana potions or coatings specifically those are the two biggest things you can make money on um but arcana is a pretty safe bet and pretty easy to make money on next we have cooking which is probably one of my favorite crafts to do because it's super easy and honestly we're going to put it up here now, the thing you have to remember about cooking is the profit margins are through the roof. On my server, let's say it takes 30 coins to make a carrot cake, um, or at least that's what it, they sell at. You can probably craft it with about 20, 20 coins and in ingredients most of the time. Having said that, instead of just getting one, you're getting two or three every time you craft one. So the profit margins are absolutely crazy. The problem is not a lot of people buy food but you can absolutely do other things as well you can open up the aptitude crates which are the cooking is the easiest one to progress through your aptitude levels and you can get a bunch of things like tarragon and salt and garlic and uh, sumptuous rabbits and all rich bear flanks you can get all those and you get those all the time in your cooking crates so trust me cooking is really good but you do have to be a little bit you know finagle your way around it and if you're looking to make you know the fastest way to make a gold cap cooking is probably not the way because it is a little bit slower but the profit margins on it are really good which is why we kind of bumped it up a tier next we have our last two gathering we're just going to put logging right here in the three category it's decent money it's kind of it, it's similar to harvesting it's definitely a little bit worse we could definitely put it down here with like fishing um, I could see that, but iron hide stuff like or iron wood and stuff like that goes for pretty decent money. And you can get some like iron wood saps and stuff like that. That um I think that's like for refreshing move or thwarting strikes, one of the two. 
um, which can be pretty expensive. I think it's 30 strikes, but yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty consistent, uh, but it's kind of like harvesting where you have to go all over the place where skinning, you can just stay in one little area and uh, make more money per hour doing it that way. But logging's okay and not too bad. Next, we have mining. So right now, mining's up here. If you can actually get the Ori nodes and stuff like that, mining is crazy money. The, the Ori has started to go down, so it's starting to come back down to earth. Um, but we can definitely put it up here. But because Ori is going down in price and because the new patch is going to be dropping, we're actually going to move Ori down here to the tracking and skinning because that's where I think it is going to definitely land come next patch. There's going to be a lot more Ori, but Ori's price itself is going to drop. And uh, mining's going to be still pretty good. And mining is definitely up here probably right now. But it's starting to come down as people are not buying it nearly as much. The price of Ori on my server has come down quite a bit. And uh, it's definitely still a very good money maker and still will be. But it's definitely not going to be what it used to be. Last and certainly not least, we have flipping stuff on the trading post. And honestly, this is easily the best thing you can do. Now, if you guys want me to make a video on this, I can. I've sort of made a video before, but you can make absolutely crazy, crazy, crazy amounts of money on the trading post. I have made flipping trading posts. Now, I didn't play a ton over this weekend, so I only probably made about 30, 30 35,000 uh, flipping stuff on the trading post um, just over the weekend, but the two weekends before that, I probably combined for about 300,000 profit from flipping stuff on the trading post. Flipping stuff on the trading post is absolutely crazy. If you know when to buy, when to sell, you can make crazy amounts of money. I have almost single-handedly bought my entire set of two different sets of gear, that being my bow spear set and my sword and shield great axe set strictly from flipping stuff on the trading post after this video i'm going on the live server and i need to post more things that i need to sell for flipping on the trading post it is by far the easiest fastest best way you can possibly make money and it's not even close the time investment for the rewards you get from flipping stuff on the trading post is crazy having said that you do have to have quite a bit of money to get started and you can flip small things and that can be good, but the thing that I suggest without trying to give away every way I make money, because then I wouldn't be able to make money, is to find a niche. Find something that you can you know, get into, a market that you know very well, that you pay attention to. Maybe you buy a lot of things per, per week. Well, what are you buying? Why are you buying it? Look into what you can buy it for. Look into putting up buy orders. You know, Look at the market, see, just notice trends. You know, Maybe even keep a little journal. Today it was this, 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 go a week or two. And see when the prices go up, see when the prices go down. Why did they go up? Why did they go down? And you can spend five, 10 minutes a day and make crazy amounts of money just flipping stuff on the auction house. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comment section down below where I went right, where I went wrong. Let me know if you're like, bro, I just, I make money hand over fist doing uh, armoring. You have way too low. Uh, or maybe you're like cooking. I cannot make a dime cooking, bro. Why would you ever put it up there in that tier? Let me know in the comment section down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. These videos are meant to just kind of be a little discussion. I'd like to see what you guys post in the comment section down below. I know sometimes you guys are pretty trolly, but that's okay. I still read every single um, post you guys put down there. Every time you comment, every time you like, all that stuff, it's greatly appreciated. Like, comment, subscribe, like I said earlier. And I will see you next time. Peace.